Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. There has been mint on card images released of AW Unmatched 3. Well, leaked, I should say. Oh, I'm not going to go over everyone on the set. I'm only going to go through the three people that had mint on card images leaked. So people not shown in this is Stu Grayson, Anna J, and um, someone else. I'm forgetting who it is. Let's see. Stu Grayson. Yeah, okay, I got it right. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through the people that are that had the mental card images leaked as the pictures are a little bit blurry. Uh, but one mental card images, which I'll show at the end. Evil Uno, first off. He's got purple lining all around his attire. Some silver dots everywhere throughout his um, jackets and stuff. And there is his head scan. Purple and black mask with the white teeth put on there. And he's got his arms sort of like a crazy um, position, if that makes sense. And then next up is John Silver. They nailed this figure, but this his eye his eyebrows look a little bit off. That's all I got. That's my only complaint about this. His eyebrows are a little bit off. Um, you got his jacked arms right there. He's sort of flexing in this picture. Uh, jacket with the purple and silver lining down it. A dark order patch for a knee pad and then purple and black trunks. So yeah, this morning AEW did or er, Jeremy Padauer I should say uh, did sort of a Christmas reveals. And I was I was expecting Unmatched 3, but I was sort of expecting more as well. Maybe some Unrivaled or Unmatched 4 or something like that. But it was only just Unmatched 3. And I'm like, man, we're going to have to wait a while to get these Menton card images. But thanks to Prince.of.figures on Instagram, definitely check them out. Uh, they had the pictures leaked. So the third one in this would be the Exolated one, Mr. Brody Lee. And he comes with the TNT title, a black tank top with the triangle on it, um, and then there are his pants right there. And the only complaint is his head scan looks a little bit too rectangle-ish, and uh, his eyebrows as well. Um, so Brody Lee won this off of Cody Rhodes, and there's actually a title change on AEW Rampage that will be airing Friday. So if you don't want a spoiler, skip ahead like 10 seconds. Um, right now, maybe it's a little bit of a warning, because I don't want to spoil it, but if you do want to know, you probably already saw it, I'm going to say that now, Cody actually did beat Sammy Guevara for the TNT title, and that kind of reminded me of when Cody had it, and then Brody Lee beat him, and then Cody won it back in the, um, match that they had, I forget what, like, I forget what it was, the leash match or whatever. Okay, spoiler over, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, Brody Lee with the TNT title, red straps, um, and gold on it. And then there's, of course, the diamond right there with the eye, um, his tank top, and then his attire right there. So now to the Minton card images right here. Again, Prince of Figures, or Prince.of.figures on Instagram. Definitely check them out. Fantastic for a bunch of Minton card images leaks and a bunch of stuff like that. But yeah, so starting on the right, you have Evil Uno. I don't know if these upper deck stickers are actually going to be on there. I don't think that they actually are. Um, but anyways, right here you have Evil Uno uh, with the micro AW microphone in hand. And there's his face right there. Same exact attire. Um, over here you have John Silver. Uh, his arms don't look as jacked as they were in the picture. With three extra pairs of hands. And then up here, you have two head scans, one of him sort of in a mean, angry look. And the one with him, his mouth really smiling, I guess you could say. Um, and, like, you can tell these are right as, like, the tires and everything. And by the numbers right here, 17, 20, and stuff like that. And then in the middle, there is Brody Lee. And such a cool um, sort of homage to him. There's uh, papers, and then a rolled up piece of paper like he did on... Um, being the elite and stuff, I was kind of expecting um, a purplish package for this, um, but we did not get that. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like we're gonna get a ringside exclusive of Brody Lee, and it's gonna have a jacket and like a really cool box and everything like that. Um, yeah, Brody Lee right here. The papers are really cool. Um, so yeah, Prince of Figures. Big shout outs to him. And I was really expecting a different colored box for Brody Lee. 
Uh, the LJN for Darby Allen was postponed as Jeremy Bidauer sort of stretched it too much and like had it too large and the packaging errors or whatever like that. Anyways, that's extended, so I'm wondering if that's going to be released with this set or if it's going to be a one-off like after the set comes out or if they'll replace it with something else. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just a basic unmatched packaging for all three of these figures. I could see why Brody Leach wasn't really purple in the background, um, unless he was uh, like a Luminaries or like a Chase or whatever. I think the Chase is the same background. Well, I don't know. I can definitely see a Brody Lee ringside exclusive coming out in the very near future with uh, the jacket, the TNT title, uh, maybe some stuff with his match against Cody, uh, like the strap match or whatever it, it was. And then, of course, the papers as well. But it's really cool that they added that. Um, such a really simple but cool detail, I guess you could say. But yeah, mint on card images of AW on match three were leaked. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these figures down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time.